Hello students, welcome to Saurav Sir's classes. Today we would be learning about the sufficiency of estimators Now an estimator is said to be sufficient for a parameter if it contains all the information in the sample regarding the parameter So say if capital T is equal to T x1 x2 and so on up to xn is an estimator of parameter theta based on a sample x1 x2 and so on up to xn of size n from the population with density fx comma theta such that the conditional distribution of x1 x2 and so on up to xn given t is independent of theta then t is sufficient estimator for theta now the name and factorization theorem states the necessary and sufficient condition for a distribution to admit sufficient statistic it states that t is equal to tx is sufficient for theta if and only if the joint density function l c of the sample values can be expressed in the form l is equal to g theta tx into hx where as indicated g theta tx depends on theta and x only through the value of tx and hx is independent of theta it should be clearly understood that by a function independent of theta we not only mean that it does not involve theta but also that its domain does not contain theta and it should be noted that the original sample x is equal to x1 x2 and so on up to xn is always a sufficient statistic again the most general form of the distributions admitting sufficient statistic so the most general form admitting sufficient statistic 
is Koopman's form. And is given by L is equal to Lx theta, that is Gx into H theta into exponential A theta psi x, where h theta and a theta are functions of the parameter theta only and gx and psi x are the functions of the sample observations only. Next, we have the invariance property of sufficient estimator the states that if t is a sufficient estimator for theta and if psi t is a one to one function of t then psi t is sufficient for psi theta then we also have the Fisher Neyman criterion using which you can find a sufficient statistic now a statistic t1 is equal to tx1, x2 and so on up to xn is sufficient estimator of parameter theta if and only if the likelihood function can be expressed as so this likelihood function can be expressed in the form g1 t1 comma theta into k x1 x2 and so on up to xn so if you can express it in this form then you get a sufficient statistic where g1 t1 theta is the pdf of the statistic t1 and k x1 x2 up to xn is a function of sample observations only independent of theta Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned to our YouTube channel Sort of Source Classes for further videos on statistical concepts.